The Ben Film Festival is right around the corner. Bola Badabo spoke to the executive director and the writer and editor of one of the submitted films to learn more. Bola? Lee, the festival showcases more than 100 unique independent films, many of which are intended to create a better sense of empathy and understanding. The Bend Film Festival is back, celebrating nearly two decades of bringing independent films to Central Oregon audiences. We'll have narrative features, uh, so feature-length films that are fictional films, um, documentary feature-length films, and then just a bunch, bunch, bunch of shorts. The in-person segment starts Thursday and goes through Sunday. The virtual option will be available for much of this month from Monday through October 23rd. Just last year, Ben Film became an Academy Award qualifying festival, resulting in a record number of about 1,700 submissions from around the world this year. The other great thing about uh, this festival is we celebrate the work by local filmmakers. That segment will be presented at Open Space Studios in Bend. The program includes 33 feature films, 80 short films, 8 music videos, and 5 panels. The screenings will air across six different venues, like the Cascade Theatrical Company, and the Tin Pan Theater all in Bend, as well as the Madras Performing Arts Center, just to name a few. Whatever's on the screen really helps you feel and internalize what someone's experience is in the world. And hopefully then you come away a little changed in understanding, you know, what other people are going through. The documentary Sweetheart Deal is one of many unique films that will air in the festival. It focuses on the struggles of four women who battle a heroin addiction and become sex workers. I spoke with the writer Karen Sim and editor Brittany Kaplan to find out more about it. So we're following the lives of these four women through their perspective. And, you know, there's no talking head interviews. It's it was shot over the span of many years. So you actually get to see these women evolve over time and change. Yeah, I was struck with in some ways how relatable their struggles are, even though it, and on the surface it sounds very extreme and desperate. You can purchase tickets for Sweetheart Deal along with other films online. If you attend, you also get to talk with the filmmakers and learn about their process. Lee?